I've got a wooden floor in uh, an old house that I bought that is severely sloping. This is the bathroom here and uh, I couldn't find any YouTube videos on how to uh, level something like this so I thought I'd make a quick one uh, after coming up with a method that uh, I use myself so maybe it'll help somebody out. Alright, um, so to begin leveling the bathroom here, I know that I want to make the bathroom floor level with the entryway, which I've already leveled with the kitchen. And in order to do that, I need to set a reference point for this room, that I want to make the rest of the room uh, the same level as this point. And how I'm going to do that is lay the level across the shims that I've already made for the other room, bring it into this room, and uh, all I'm going to use is a screw. So I've got uh, a sort of a different size screw. I got a bit driver and a screwdriver. So to begin leveling this room, what I'm going to do is set the first screw here. And then uh, I'll use the screwdriver to fine tune it. So I set that one too low. I'm going to bring it up some. This point is now what I'm going to use to level the rest of the room. So once I have that, I can set the level on top of that screw and then work my way down the room here. So I'll set my next screw. Right there, the bubble is perfectly between. That, believe it or not, is how far this floor slopes. So that's going to take, I was hoping to use two halves of a two before, but it's going to take the full two before to make this uh, level. So I just keep sliding it over and repeating that. All right, for this plank, I've got all the screws in it. The level is sitting uh, perfect. I didn't have a screw long enough for that one so I had to use a block to prop up the level and then I've got, got a series of screws up and down here and uh, once I get my shim on top of this plank everything should be level. So what I did is I took a 2 before I cut it to the length of the room and I'm just going to set it beside those screws there and uh, as you can see the two before I picked it so because it was uh, very straight and I still got some and not only does it slope in one direction but there's some bowing um, so it's got a little bit of a contour to it but I'm going to set that on top of the screw heads just like that and if I set the level on top of here it shows it as perfectly level and the next part is uh, key to this whole method and that's scribing the line that follows the contour of the board underneath. So uh, I've got a couple options on how to do that and I'll show you. Option one is use this uh, caliper, I think it's like two dollars at Home Depot. It's a scribing uh, tool, looks like a compass, but I just start at the bottom uh, of this and then work my way up. So with the two before in place you can use uh, this and just follow along to draw your line. If you're in a pinch you don't have one of those really all you need is a wooden block. Take a wooden block I've got a carpenter's pencil here and you can do the same thing. It, you do, it doesn't have to be you don't have to start right at the bottom but you just uh, follow along on there, the block follows the contour of the floor and draws a line on the two before. I've got the line scribed on the two before now, and all you got to do is cut on that line. I could use a table saw to cut it, but um, I find it's easier for me to use the circular saw, especially if there's any curvature to the line. Here is the first cut. 
or the shim follows the contour of the floor. And now we'll see how it fits. All right, here it is laying on the floor. So that was just kind of a free-handed cut with a circular saw. And as you can see, it's resting right on the top of that plank. And uh, there's little to no, there's no wobble uh, end to end. And it's pretty tight. Put the level on top of it and it is perfectly level. So that's how you cut the chip. Now the height is still an issue. So this is not level with the other floor yet or the other shims as you can see there so i've got to take the top of this down a certain amount so um there's an easy way to do that and i'll show you this is the other side and the top of the screw head is level so i'm going to mark that right there and this distance here should be the same on every screw head. So I'm gonna mark those here and up there. All right, I'm gonna take the height down, uh, mark that straight line that I used. That's done. See how it sits. Got it back in place. It is right there at the top of that screw. Right at the top of this screw. Down the entire length. It's centered in that direction. centered that direction so that's it for the rest of the room I've just got to repeat that process a few more times and lay the plywood on top of it and this room that room will be level with the kitchen and hopefully that helps somebody out I had trouble figuring that out at first how I was going to do this but uh, the screw method seems to work fairly well. Thanks for watching.